Welcome back to MCM Outdoors. I've come out to film the Fire Maple X3 stove. I put a question out on the channel, a bit of a poll, and asked people would they like to see me doing a bit of a review, stroke overview of this stove, which was kindly sent to me by one of the lads in the MCM Outdoors Facebook group. Now, it's a budget, budget stove, and it's a bit of a copy of a jet boil. I've seen them online for as low as £30 in sort of flash sales. And I think at the moment they're retailing for 60 quid, 59.99 on Amazon and eBay. So we're gonna have a bit of a look of it. I've already got my views on it. I'm gonna find somewhere to cook up something really exotic, a packet of noodles. I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. It's very budget friendly, but sometimes the old adage, you buy cheap, you buy twice. Is it true in this case? Well, there's only one way to find out. So we're heading into stunning Mia Sands Wood. And hopefully you'll enjoy the scenery along the way on this one as well. So as you can see, absolutely stunning woodland here in the nature reserve. It's a really lovely place. Um, come here a lot. It's nice to just come and wind down and relax. And of course, if you want some peace and quiet, if you've got something to review, well, it comes in really handy as well. So let's get straight to work. Let's get the stove out. Let's see what you get and see how it performs. So let's look at what you get. You was to get the stove itself, which is nice and wide, again, all specs below. We've got this clear lid with a vent, and it stores nice and securely with the use of this metal bar with these little studs on the end, which holds it all in place. All I have to do is put a bit of pressure on, move that out of the way, and it just drops down. And the handle will release. I don't know if you heard that there. This one locks into place. So if you're carrying hot water, you know you're nice and secure. And if you've got younger people, little children helping you around camp, you can rest assured that the handle ain't gonna collapse and there's not gonna be some horrible disaster involving hot water. So this particular model is the X3. There's an X2, don't ask me how they differ. This is the latest model and I like it. So let's look at all the components which you get. So you obviously get the stove itself. You get the lid. It's good quality with a flexible rubberized handle. 
which won't heat up so that speaks for itself you get this adapter which allows you to use the stove with other cookware and not just this pot these simply rotate 90 degrees and then you can put smaller diameter pots on there which makes it a little bit more versatile and it's really useful and that comes with it for example with the jet boil and some other stoves you'd have to purchase this as an extra so in terms of value you're already adding to that you get the burner assembly itself which has a piezo igniter just there and the handle to operate the valve controls the flow of the gas and you can regulate your flame just folds away under a little bit of a spring action there so that's the burner head itself I've heard people say although this hasn't failed and I've been using it for around a month now that the piezo igniter can break whilst that might be annoying when you look at the value of the stove um, you can just simply use a fire steel or a lighter so if the piezo igniter breaks it's not the end of the world just make sure that you have a fire steel with you as well just in case but mine's fine after nearly a month of use then you get a nice little bit of a support for your gas canister which just makes it a bit more stable you'll see why that's important for example using the stove on uneven ground where I am today these legs snap into place and then depending on what size gas canister you're using they will fit into either the first holes or the second holes if you're using a bigger canister that's a nice touch it's included and it adds to the overall stability and safety of the stove and then finally is the cooking vessel itself it's got markings on the side for 0.4 and 0.8 of a litre and it's nice and wide you could easily get boiling the bag meals in there and it's a really quick boiler you'll see that in a minute when I use the stove I've explained to you that the handle locks into place to release that back up there's a small metal tab just press that and the handle will release from its locking pin again just click it into place when you're using the stove just for safety underneath you can see these fins and what they do is concentrate the heat a bit like how your radiators work at home concentrate the heat into the base of the cooking vessel and make the stove much more efficient and shorten the boil times nice and light good quality you've got a rubber rubberized sleeve which goes around the, the circumference of the pot again just protects your hands from the heat also insulates it and you can remove that if needs be if it gets dirty just give it a bit of a wash under water so that is it it's a good bit of kit I'm going to attach the gas I'm going to get the water boiled up and see how it performs folks I'm just doing it by eye so I'm not sure once you put your gas cartridge your gas cylinder onto the base it simply screws on top tip especially if you're doing it inside a tent and then you're making your own decisions there you're risk assessing it yourself always just make sure that this valve is closed because when you screw that on it breaks the seal and if it's not if the valve is open gas will start escaping you might not know and it's building up inside a confined space if you're using it in a tent when you press that ignite button it's not going to be the best situation so make sure it's done up screw it on don't cross thread it and there we go we're ready to operate the stove first of all I'm just going to fill the cooking vessel with some water just enough to cook these noodles
Now on this bearing a head assembly, there's these small indentations which correlate to the same parts on the cooking vessel. You just line them up So now comes the moment of truth for the piezo igniter. Let's see if it starts first time. Bang on the money. To get decent flame control. That's nearly boiling already. Let's get the noodles in. This is where the canister support comes in really handy, the little feet there, the tripod. Not to worry about the toppling over. So like I've said, this handle, nice siliconized rubber, it doesn't heat up and quite happily leave my fingers on there, it's completely cool to the touch. As for the side, again this insulating material, if I wanted to, I could pick it up by that. Obviously I'm going to use the handle, be sensible, but it does a good job of insulating the hands if you need to pick it up and drink from it. Right, I'm just gonna let them cool down. Um, clearly it's not a gourmet meal I'm making here. It's a packet of noodles, which just involves boiling some water. I've chosen that because it's nice and simple and stoves of that design, in my view, are at their best when used just to boil water quickly. Um, I wouldn't like to be cooking food directly in the pan um, because it can burn, but that's the same for any stove which is designed in that way. The stove is primarily designed as a water boiler unless you're using it with a different pot and you're using this, uh, this pan support with it. You could, in theory, put a frying pan on there any different uh, cooking vessel of your choice but how it's configured when you get it it is designed primarily for the boiling of water so we'll just release that just lift it off nice sturdy handle so you can eat from it I'll find my fork now you're not going to sit here and watch me eating this entire packet of noodles but the stove is really versatile. If you can pick this up for 30 pounds, you've got an absolute bargain in my opinion. It's well made, it's solid. Um, you know, there's no cheap or flimsy part on it that I can tell, and this video isn't sponsored. Uh, I don't have anything whatsoever to do with the company, but um, especially in the current climate, I think everyone's a little bit more budget conscious. Um, and unfortunately, there's a lot of question marks, sadly, hanging over people's livelihoods. So if you are looking to reduce your costs and you don't want to be spending upwards of £100 for a jet boil MSR or something you know, of that nature, go and get yourself one of these. I really, really do rate it. Easy to clean, easy to store and carry. It's lightweight. You could put a small gas canister in here as well. And it's a nice all-in-one cooking solution. So I recommend this bit of kit. I have no qualms in recommending this whatsoever. I'm going to sit here, enjoy these noodles, and um, I'll leave you with a bit of scenery. We'll have a walk around Mia Sands Wood. But, cracking bit of kit, the Fire Maple X3. Cheers.
such a lovely little spot this isn't it like i've said what a lovely place to come and make videos off the beaten track and just get away from it all in these crazy times um hope you've enjoyed this one i'm going to leave you with a bit of b-roll and a bit of music just show you the rest of the wood but if you've enjoyed it give it a quick thumbs up it costs you absolutely nothing um, if you've got any questions about the stove let me know and I'll try and answer them for you and if you're not subscribed to MCM Outdoors check out the back catalogue there are over 200 videos in there now and it is outdoors everything if you're on Facebook come and join our group it's a closed group full of like-minded people it's very friendly there's no petty arguments and uh, everyone's really helpful and if we don't know the answer or I don't know the answer someone in the group will so come and join if you want to get into wild camping and all things great outdoors just to let you know um, Matt and I have recorded a substitute for October camp we thought ahead thought the situation might change so we've got something coming up for you in the next couple of weeks and I very much hope you enjoy that so stay tuned there are also a few wild camps as well planned for next week and beyond we've got a nice interesting catalogue of videos planned throughout the end of autumn and winter what it's all about just getting outdoors relaxing and getting away from it all go and enjoy the great outdoors yourself and i'll see you on the next video take care everyone